across a lot of the nonsense that's out there on Facebook and whatnot about who's doing what. Would it, would it, would it be a, a wise for maybe you to go back to Sinn Féin and ask Sinn Féin, will they categorically say that they will not enter the coalition between Northern Ireland and Labour for five years? Because in my mind, that would take away a lot of the nonsense that's been bandied about there. And if we could get that Sinn Féin to say that publicly, then it undercuts a lot of the other arguments that are coming in that may or may not come in. So uh, that's the question. Uh, thanks very much. Owen, oh, oh, thanks, Owen. Um, I do know your face now, actually, yeah, because you need to meet us. Um, listen, we're going to have to start off, um, in, view, in our view anyway, um, we're going to have to start off with being disciplined. We're trying to ask the, sh the simplest number of questions that we believe reflects the, the, the hunger for change among the communities that are out there. And every time we ask a question on, um, as I said, uh, my answer to Mark, someone, and I don't mean this towards you, but it happens every day of the week, somebody tells us either we've asked the question the wrong way or we haven't asked the right question. So we would, we would like if we could assess um, all of the answers to the questions we have actually asked. Um, because what we're trying to do here is not build an opposition movement. We're trying to build a movement which is about taking control and changing the country. And we haven't tailored the question to suit any political individual We've tailored the question because we think form in the government is what this should be about, um, if at all possible. So we think, and we were discussing this yesterday, the trade unions after the last series of meetings we had with the various parties you've seen. We think, and I personally think, we've had two weeks now of focusing on political parties. And we've had a week of the media focusing on nothing but political parties. And we've had a year of the media, generally speaking, ignoring the biggest social change movement happening not only in this country, but any country. So what I want to do personally, on be and on behalf of Unite, and if my colleagues agree with the trade unions, from this meeting, from now on, is work with the communities the political parties have their teams in place. They have their candidates in place. They have their programmes in place. And they have now answered the questions that we put. What isn't in place is structure, um, which is a canvassing machine for candidates, independent-minded candidates in every constituency in Ireland who are interested in change. Because the reality is, if everybody we put up on the list, all the candidates from all those parties got elected, currently, we wouldn't have enough to form a government. So we don't have independence in all of the constituencies. Um, and we want to work with the community pillar, because we haven't got a party agenda. Trade unions have no party agenda. There's no trade union affiliated to any party. And there's none of the trade union leaders members of any party. We are highly political by Because politics chooses to affect our lives 24-7. That makes us political. So what we want to do is work with you guys. And we could go back to Sinn Féin and we could go back to a number of parties and we could have more discussions. My personal opinion is that we will be wasting the energy that we now need to turn into working with the communities. We need to turn that energy into working with the parties do whatever they're going to do within the structures of the answers to the people. And we want to turn the debate now back on the people of this country who are not politically aligned, who support this movement, and see can we mobilise them to change this country because the parties aren't going to do it without the communities. So the question of time is the question of time.
my name, right to water, right to change. Because a huge amount of people came out the first day solely on water. Now we all know there's a lot more involved and we have to join the dots to get where we need to go. But you have a percentage of people who think they're getting lost. And you asked the question while ago, do the committee, or the community I should say, want and help, uh, help from unions? Yes we do, but we have to facilitate people who feel they are after being lost with the name change. I'm just wondering why the name change came around in the first place. Yeah, Dave. Because exactly. we want yeah. change. Uh, <laughs> right, right to water still exists, it's not gone. Um, I actually handled this question for a little bit as well, same thing. Um, right, we, we, not that we had to change the name, I suppose we would have kept the, the name. Uh, but this right to change movement is about much more than just water. Um, right to water, as it was set up, uh, myself and Brendan actually sat down to develop it and try and make it as broad as possible to include as many people as possible, including those who are boycotting, those people who are blocking water meters, installation people who are registering, but weren't going to pay, people who weren't registering, a whole heap of different people, because we thought the bigger the numbers are on the streets, the better. In order to do that, Right to Water had two components. One, you just had to believe that water was a human right, and two, you had to oppose water charges. It didn't have a water policy. That document there, the Right to Change document, has a water policy in stone. Um, so th that's why we had to change a little bit of it in, in terms of bringing in a water policy. Not everyone agrees with that water policy, it might be slightly nuanced versions around the place, but we had to do something in order to, to ensure that people had a choice about what type of water policy they had. Um, but that was to run in conjunction, Right to Change runs in conjunction with Right to Water. Right to Water is going nowhere, it still exists, it's still a campaign and people can mobilise around it and we will be calling demonstrations. Um, but if you're going to broaden the campaign beyond water charges, which, which is what most people actually wanted when the survey came, results came through from Minute University, then we couldn't just call it right to water because it ignores housing, healthcare, education, debt justice, sustainable environment, national resources, all of that stuff. So we had to do something in order to, to, to realise that. And the name itself is, is thought up, um, and you can probably see the, the fruition of that now, in that we have, ahead of this election, three choices. One, a choice for the status quo, remain the same. Two, a protest vote for people who are not going to go into government or whatever else. And three, uh, change. And we fundamentally believe, I fundamentally believe anyway, I'm sure the rest of the guys do, that it's not that we want to change, it's that we need change and we have a right to change. Um, all of those things that are in that document are based on human rights, uh, human rights that are being currently being denied to our citizens. Um, where our government goes in in 2010 and abstains from a, a vote in the UN uh, Council on the right to water because they knew they were bringing this in. That was 2010, that was before this current government. So there's a whole heap of rights in there that are being denied to us and um, that international, internationally are recognised as human rights. And that's where the name comes from, right to change, because we believe it's much broader, it has to be about the type of society that we live in. And as my presentation was to show is that you know, this again is not just in water, it's in housing, it's in education, with the privatising sections of it as well, um, and, and a whole heap of other things. So, I mean, we will be continuing with Right to Water and Right to Change as we go forward. It's not that it's gone or anything else. Yes.